SEO for orthodontists. How do you actually get found on Google for terms like braces near me, Invisalign near me, clear correct, and so much more? That's what we're going to be diving into today for our video. Hi, I'm Kayvon Mott, co-founder of the doc site. So one thing that's really important for you to know when it comes to being found on Google is it's not just one thing. It's a series of things working together that will get you that increased visibility online, get you found on Google, and make sure that your appointment chairs are being filled with the quality patients that you want. It's a lot like if someone comes to you, their family member, and they say, hey, like I wanna take care of my teeth like for life. You're not going to just say, all you got to do is brush. That's it. No, you're going to see, hey, you actually need braces. We need to fix that. You need a brush. You need a floss. Come in for, you know, six month deep cleaning to your, to your GP. There's a series of things that work together. So it's important to understand that. And right now we're going to dive into what those things are. If you don't know what SEO is or search engine optimization is, I'll keep it brief. It's essentially, are you getting found on Google for terms like braces near me, Invisalign, clear aligners, and so much more. So the first thing you gotta have in place is a great website that showcases what makes your practice unique. The reason that's important is nowadays, everyone's gonna look you up online and inevitably, whether they find you on Instagram, they hear about you, or on Google, they go to one place, it's your website. Your website, you can think of it as your first impression online. First impressions really matter in life and they especially matter online. So here's some things you can do to showcase your practice and stand out from the competition. Number one, use videos to show your practice. They say image is worth a thousand words. What's a video worth? A hundred thousand? A million? You get the point. So hire a professional videographer. Take time, whether you put it, you know, on the home page as a splash page or you put it on your about page, a video will allow patients to get a sense, a good sense of what they're walking into. Bonus tip is to actually get video testimonials of your patients, put those on the home page, put those on the reviews page, and you'll see that it attracts people who resonate with those people and that service that you offer. Another thing you've got to do with your website to stand out is showcase your reviews. I'm surprised at how many orthodontists do an amazing job. They get all these reviews and when I go to their website, you know how many reviews I see? Zero. Be a doer and actually take those reviews and put it on your website. I know at DocSites we're one of the few companies that we actually will embed those Google reviews right there on the home page so that patients can see, wow, this orthodontist is great. Look how many people love them for braces, right? Another thing you wanna focus on with your website are your specialties. If you're great at ortho FX cases, I wanna know that. Maybe you specialize in phase one orthodontics. Maybe you only work on kids. Hey, if I'm you know, a dad and I'm looking for my son or daughter online and I see that you specialize in kids or you work with teens or maybe I want it for myself and you work with adults, I'm more likely to pick up that phone and make an appointment. But if you don't speak to that audience, if you don't speak to your specialty, then your marketing will kind of be nebulous and vague and it won't be as effective. Lastly, on your website, you might want to consider doing some kind of special offers to bring people in because we're going to talk about how to get more visible on Google, but if people come in, they don't have a reason to make an appointment, you've kind of lost an opportunity. So it doesn't mean you have to give the whole kitchen sink away, right? You can put a special for uh, Invisalign consultation. You can put a price tag on it. Some orthos say, hey, I'll do that consultation for free all day. Get them in. I know I can take care of patients. I'll, I'll take that cost because the cost of the Invisalign case or the braces is worth it. Not to mention that not only do you usually get them, but you might get a brother, a sister, a mom, or a dad to come with them as well. So step one, make sure your website is then and there. One really important thing you also got to understand is your website is a very important part of your search engine optimization. Think of it like they're working hand in hand together. It's different sides of the same coin. So you want to make sure that that website is not only personalized, but it's actually optimized with keywords. So this brings me to part two of how you actually get found on Google. 
you want to make sure that the title tags and the meta descriptions on your website are properly focused on the services you provide and the city you provide. So, for example, let's say you do braces, let's say you do Invisalign, let's say you do Invisalign for teen, for adults. Each of those should have their own page. Why is that? Well, think about it. If I know I want Invisalign and I go on Google, I'm not going to search for dentists near me. What am I going to search for? Invisalign specialists, clear aligners, right? If I'm savvy enough, I might even search Invisalign for adults, put in my zip code. The point is, Patients are more savvy and they're specifically looking for treatments. So guess what Google wants to give them? Exactly what they're looking for. So if you have a website and all it is is a home page that says, we do ortho and about page and an appointment page, sorry, but you don't even have a chance of showing up. So a good strategy is make sure that each of your specific treatments and services, metal braces, clear aligners, Invisalign for teen adults actually have their own page and they're actually optimized for your city because if you don't put for your city, whether that's Fort Worth or Glenview or Little Rock, then Google doesn't know who to send patients to you. So you want to make sure that those pages are optimized for the treatments and they have your city in there because that's how patients are searching. What do they search? Braces near me, Invisalign near me. So make sure that your website is not only personalized, it shows what makes you different, but like if I lift the hood of the engine, so to speak, and I look and I'm like, wow, that's powerful. It has keywords in there. It's optimized for my city. It's attracting patients. It doesn't just look pretty and work nice. A third part is adding content to your website. So we're talking about utilizing SEO blog posts and publishing articles. Now, I don't want you to go publishing articles yourself or blogs, right? You're already busy running the practice yourself, but you do want to hire a marketing company who's publishing content and, and articles out there. You want to make sure that the articles they're writing are focused on one thing and one thing only. What are patients in the area searching for? They might be searching for braces near me or Invisalign or clear liner. They're not going to search for how swimming makes braces more fun or best mouthwashes for those who have braces. Sorry, that's cute. No one is looking for an orthodontist with that. Make sure your marketing company knows that, understands that, and they're focusing on those keywords. That's why at DocSites, we do not charge an arm and a leg for SEO, but we're really effective at getting orthodontists towards the top of Google and increasing their online visibility because we understand what patients are looking for, what services you provide, and we create content. Over time, when you have great reviews, a great website, and great content, your authority starts building and Google starts sending more traffic your way. Lastly, what's really important is your Google My Business profile. If you're not sure what it is, this profile is, you know when you look up you know, a doctor or a restaurant, that profile on the right-hand side has the name, office hours, reviews, that's the Google My Business profile. You wanna make sure that that's kept updated. It's optimized, you add products and services, and also you have reviews. It's really important to increase those online reviews. If you're at 20, go to 40 reviews. If you're at 50, go to 100. You need to increase them because that velocity and quantity of reviews is like adding gasoline to the fire and you're trying to get found on Google. So make sure that you have a strategy in place, whether it's QR codes or software, asking patients at the right time, your staff is doing it. Make sure you have something in place where the reviews are increasing day in and day out. And of course, that's gonna be important for you to deliver on that patient experience, right? If you're asking for a review, you want to do a good job. So they kind of feed each other and it's, and it's really, really important. One bonus tip with reviews, when you ask patients to leave you a review, if they actually put the service that they got, like let's say Invisalign or braces, it is more likely that if someone is searching for braces or Invisalign, Google will see that review and show your Google profile. So the point is, if you're asking patients to leave you a review, say something like this. Hey, Tim, I'm so glad you love your Invisalign case. 
would you do us a favor and share your experience of Invisalign online? Because a lot of patients, they're kind of nervous. They don't think they need it or, you know, concerned about Invisalign. We want patients just like you to see that and feel comfortable and come in. Would you mind sharing your experience specifically on the Invisalign case we did? Oh yeah, of course we'll do that. That gets them framed in a mind state to actually share their review. They're doing something good. You know, they wanna help that person that's looking for a review. They have a good experience and they're gonna write about Invisalign. So that's gonna increase your likelihood of being found. Lastly, I just want to say one missing element that I see a lot of orthodontists don't have is they don't have patience to give it some time. Listen, if you just open up your practice, don't be surprised. Why am I not finding myself for orthodontist near me or braces near me? It takes time. But if you're concerned, hey, I've spent a year with this marketing company. I've spent so much money on Google ads. It's not working. Maybe it's time to switch company. You can always reach out to us here at DocSites. We do free, no obligation demos to see where you're at. And maybe you could do more and get more so you can get found on Google. Look, boosting your SEO service involves a lot of things. A personalized website, showcasing your reviews, Google My Business profile, not to mention taking care of patients. But by implementing these strategies, you're on your way to increase your online visibility and get found for terms like braces near me, Invisalign, clear correct, and so much more. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and if we can support you and your orthodontics practice in any way, feel free to reach out to us here at DocSites.